Would you like to live your life free from the pressure of having to be at a job that maybe you don't want to be there or maybe you don't mind doing it, but you don't be there five days a week? Would you like to generate a totally passive income of at least $43,000 a year? This income you do nothing for. It just shows up in your account every single month. For some, this might seem like an impossible dream. But in this video, I'm going to show you what happens when you invest just $50 per day or $1,500 a month. I'm going to show you how over time that can really compound and generate a significant income in excess of $43,000 a year. And at the end of this video, I have a bonus for you. I'm going to show you how you can generate this exact same income, $43,000 a year, a lot faster than you probably thought possible. Now the portfolio I'm going to share with you today, I call it my 10% portfolio. It's a portfolio of stocks I've accumulated basically for free because I take 10% of the cash flow I receive by selling covered calls and cash secure put options and doing some poor man's covered calls and buy stocks outright. Now over the past couple of years, as the stock market has been beaten down pretty good, I've actually bought more than just 10%. So briefly, let me show you my portfolio here, the dividend income I'm currently receiving, and then I'm going to show you what would happen if we continue to invest $1,500 a month over the next five, 10, or even 20 years. Notice up top, it says I have 118 holdings. These are stocks that I cherry pick when I think is the best time to add to these positions. Now you don't have to cherry pick stocks like I do. You can simply buy an ETF and there are a lot of good ones to choose from. You can choose some ETFs like QQQ, or SPY, the spider. Or you can pick some dividend type ETFs like JEPI or SCHD. The concept will still be the same. Now my plan is to not really sell a lot of options against it. I simply bought this to buy and hold for the long term. I know the long term, over a long span of 10, 15, 20, 30 plus years, that some of these companies, they'll probably go bankrupt. I'm okay with that. My plan is to just hold these companies. I'm buying now what I consider good, solid companies, knowing that some of them, they'll be duds, but others will be absolute home runs. But I believe that overall, this will be a very strong dividend producing portfolio. I won't go over each stock individually, but what I wanna do is scroll all the way down here to the very bottom and show you what our current income is and dividend yield. So here you see down here at the bottom, this portfolio, which is totally invested in stocks and ETFs, is currently worth right about $60,000. Notice that the current overall dividend yield is 4.38%. Now, most of the stocks that I trade in, they are dividend paying stocks. However, I do invest in a few that aren't, such as Amazon, Disney, and Google, just name a few of them. Now, of course, if you went the route that I did, which is to cherry pick individual stocks, you could cater your portfolio to exactly what you wanted it to do for you. You could buy growth stocks, or you could buy some growth and some dividend, or you could do what I've done, which is buy a lot of dividend and a little bit of growth. Now here you see an overall kind of snapshot of this portfolio. And this is based off the Simply Say platform. Notice that our current stock dividend income is $2,600, so just over $200 a month. Now a number here, when you're thinking about long-term and heading into retirement is beta. You like a portfolio that generates nice income, but isn't all that volatile. Notice that with our portfolio of 118 stocks here, it's estimated that the beta is only 0.84%. So this portfolio will gain and lose value about 16% less than what the S&P 500 does. Now here's what I really want to dive into, because we're trying to generate a portfolio that throws off at least $43,000 a year and totally passive income. Notice that based on the history of my current portfolio, it's estimated that over the past five years, this portfolio of stocks, their dividends have grown by 5.3% a year. Over the past 10 years, they've grown by 5.8%. So we'll see nice dividend growth based on this portfolio. Well, how much will it grow? Now I've turned on dividend reinvestment because I'm gonna take all the dividends I receive in this portfolio and just reinvest them. I'm gonna use them to buy more stocks at least once a month. And notice that for our model here, I've also put in, I'm going to contribute $18,000 a year or $1,500 a month. Now remember, this account is totally funded off my option trading. I take at least 10% of the income I receive by selling options, which includes selling covered calls, selling cash to care put options, doing poor man's covered calls, as well as some other unique techniques like butterflies. But I take at least 10% of that income that I pocket every month from selling options, transfer into this account, and buy stock outright. So I plan to take on average at least $1,500 a month and buy stock in this account. Notice what happened to our income over the next few years. Now currently this portfolio is generating $2,600 a year or right at $216 a month. Notice what happens in five years. 
we move forward 60 more months and that income, if we keep contributing $1,500 a month, our dividends continue growing on average at 5.3% a year and we reinvest those dividends, our income will then be up to $8,800 a year. If you do the math, that equates to $733 a month. Let's fast forward another five years. So now we're looking at 10 years from now. Notice our annual dividend income is $18,500 a year or $1,500 a month. Fast forward five more years. So we're now 15 years from today and our income $2,800 a month. And move forward five more years, so now we're 20 years from today, and this portfolio will be generating an income of right at $57,000 a year. That means we'll be generating over $4,700 a month, totally passive, from dividends in this portfolio that's fed by the profits from our option trading account. Now, it does not take into consideration the taxes you'll owe, but that is a nice income to have put into our account every single month. Now, what would that actually look like? Now, I've switched over to the screen where it shows our actual dividends. Now, this is our estimated dividends each month over the next 12 months. Notice here on E-Trade, this estimating that we'll pocket $2,638 over the next 12 months. It breaks it down by month, but what I want to show you is just how much and how often we have income rolling in. Here you see the dates. Now today is May 29th of 2023. So notice that in two days we get our first dividend. Now it's not much, it's $6. But notice that almost every day we get dividends. Here we see we get about five or six on the first. On the second we get three or four. We get one on the sixth, on the ninth, on the 10th. I mean these, this income, it just continually comes in day after day, week after week, month after month, as you saw year after year. Now, I know for some of you that might seem overwhelming. And you don't have to start with $1,500 a month. You can simply start with how much it costs you to buy a cup of coffee or maybe buying a meal at a fast food restaurant. If you just set aside five or $10 a day, then that can really add up over time. Maybe instead of eating out for lunch, maybe commit to just bringing your lunch to work and taking that $10 and buying stocks outright. It won't seem like much at first, but as you see over time, this can really snowball into a substantial income. Now I think an important mindset here is to take this money and tell yourself, I'm going to invest it and I'm never gonna to touch it again. Now down the road, you'll be able to benefit from the income it produces, but in your mind, you wanna tell yourself that I'm going to invest this and just leave it alone. It's there for me to live off as I get older, or as I need it later in life. And what I like to do is to pick one or two days a month, especially on some of those big down days, and that's when I like to buy those stocks outright. By using this strategy of taking just a few dollars a day and consistently investing in stocks or ETFs, it can allow you to grow a portfolio that throws off substantial income, especially when you allow time to do its thing, when you allow dividend growth to grow your income. The day that I buy these stocks once or twice a month, it's actually one of the funnest days of the month because I know that when I buy those stocks, I'm immediately increasing my income and I'm setting myself up for dividend growth for the rest of my life. Here you see the alert that I sent to my patrons when we bought about 18 stocks about a week and a half ago in this 10% outright stock ownership account. As soon as I buy these stocks, I know that my income has gone up for the rest of my life. If you'd like to see my favorite way of generating consistent monthly cash flow without having a job, without having a business, without having employees, check out the video at the link below entitled, These Three Option Strategies Are the Closest Thing to a Money Tree. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.